Known for her laid-back persona and unmistakable talent, Cheryl has cultivated a life of luxury that matches her success. In today's video, we're taking an exclusive look at the lavish side of Cheryl Crow's life. From her stunning mansions, with sprawling estates in both Nashville and Los Angeles, to her enviable collection of cars that reflect her chic yet practical style, Cheryl is a woman who knows how to live well. We'll also dive into her impressive net worth, explore how her career and investments have contributed to her financial success, and discover how she balances fame with the everyday joys of family and personal life. Join me as we step inside the world of Cheryl Crow, a true icon whose life story is as captivating as her music. Cheryl Crow is a highly successful American singer-songwriter with an estimated net worth of $70 million. Known for her distinctive blend of pop, rock, and country music, Crow has sold over 50 million albums worldwide, earning her a place among the music industry's elite. Her exceptional talent has earned her nine Grammy Awards from 32 nominations, highlighting her influence and success in the industry. Throughout her career, Crow has collaborated with some of the most iconic names in music, including Michael Jackson, Eric Clapton, Sting, Tina Turner, and Bob Dylan. Beyond her musical achievements, Crow has also ventured into acting, appearing in several television shows such as 30 Rock, Cop Rock, GCB, Cougar Town, One Tree Hill, and NCIS New Orleans, as well as participating in high-profile events like Jon Stewart and Stephen Colbert's Rally to Restore Sanity and or Fear. In recognition of her enduring impact on the music world, Crow was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2023. Her career continues to thrive with an annual income exceeding $6 million, driven largely by her musical ventures and lucrative endorsement deals with brands such as Best Buy, Got Milk, AARP Services Inc., NASCAR, and Gap. Crow's ability to blend artistry with business acumen has cemented her status as both a respected musician and a savvy entrepreneur. Cheryl Crow, born Cheryl Suzanne Crow on February 11, 1962, in Kennett, Missouri, grew up in a musically inclined Presbyterian family, alongside three siblings. Her parents' love for music influenced her early interest in the arts, and she became passionate about both music and sports. In high school, she was not only a dedicated track team member, but also won a beauty pageant. After high school, Crow pursued a degree in music at the University of Missouri School of Music, where she majored in songwriting, performance, and education. While in college, she joined a local band, Kashmir, and participated in a sorority, all while preparing for her career in music. Upon graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree, Crow initially took a job as a music teacher at an elementary school in Missouri but she also worked as a commercial singer on the side. Her first notable success came from singing in a McDonald's commercial, which earned her around $40,000. Crow's big break came when she became a backup singer for Michael Jackson during his late 1980s tour. This opened the door for more opportunities, including backup singing for music legends like Stevie Wonder and Don Henley, setting the stage for her future success in the music industry. Cheryl Crow's journey to stardom was anything but conventional. Initially, she planned to release her debut album in 1992, but after recording a version she wasn't satisfied with, she and her record label decided to scrap it altogether. It wasn't until she teamed up with a group of talented musicians known as Tuesday Music Club, which included Kevin Gilbert, Bill Bottrell, and Brian McLeod, that Crow finally found the sound she was searching for. In 1993, she released Tuesday Music Club, her debut album. While it initially flew under the radar, it was the 1994 hit single, All I Wanna Do, 
that brought her widespread recognition, propelling the album to success and earning her three Grammy Awards. Crow's musical journey continued with her 1996 self-titled album, followed by The Globe Sessions in 1998, which featured the hit My Favorite Mistake and received critical acclaim. Alongside her musical career, Crow also explored acting, making her debut in the 1999 film The Minus Man and later appearing in television shows such as One Tree Hill, 30 Rock, Hannah Montana, and NCIS New Orleans, often playing herself. She also contributed to numerous soundtracks. In 2002, her album Come On, Come On featured the hit Soak Up the Sun, adding to her list of successes. However, her 2005 album Wildflower received mixed reviews, but Crow bounced back with Detours in 2008, which debuted at number two on the charts. She continued to evolve with 100 Miles from Memphis in 2010 and shifted towards country music with her 2013 album Feels Like Home. After leaving A&M Records in 2011, Crow embraced the country genre, releasing several albums that charted well, including Me, Myself in 2017. In 2023, Crow announced her upcoming 12th studio album, Evolution, which was released in March 2024, shortly after her induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In addition to her music career, Cheryl Crow has also invested significantly in luxury real estate, further cementing her financial stability and lavish lifestyle. Mansion in Runyon Canyon, Los Angeles. Cheryl Crow, the acclaimed singer-songwriter, has long been known not only for her musical talent, but also for her impressive real estate ventures. Over the years, Crow has built a sizable property portfolio, though not without some challenges. Among her most notable purchases was a stunning property nestled in the exclusive Runyon Canyon area above Los Angeles, a decision that would make headlines in Hollywood during the nearly late 90s. In 1997, Crow paid over $5 million for a sprawling 10-acre estate which would go on to become one of her most iconic residences. The property, with sweeping views of the surrounding canyon and the city below, was perfect for an artist looking for both privacy and proximity to the heart of Los Angeles. Designed to complement the natural beauty of its surroundings, the home was a perfect blend of rustic charm and luxurious living, making it a standout in Crow's real estate collection the estate consists of a main house and two separate guest houses, offering a total of seven bedrooms and a myriad of upscale features. The main house is an architectural masterpiece, featuring four spacious bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. Upon entering, guests are greeted by high ceilings adorned with exposed beams, creating an expansive, airy feel throughout the home. Hardwood floors run across the main living areas, adding warmth and elegance to the space. A cozy library provides the perfect spot for relaxation or reading, while a well-appointed wine cellar ensures the home is always stocked with the finest beverages. Outdoor living is just as impressive, with a beautifully designed porch that invites relaxation and views of the picturesque landscape. An outdoor fireplace provides a focal point for gatherings, while the pool offers a serene place to unwind. The two guest houses on the property, one with three bedrooms and the other with two, are equally well appointed, each with private bathrooms, comfortable living rooms, and secluded backyards, making them perfect for guests who desire privacy without sacrificing comfort. Despite the grandeur of the property and its stunning features, Crow struggled to sell the estate when she decided to list it in 2012. Initially asking for just under $16 million, the singer faced challenges in a fluctuating market. Over the years, the price of the estate was lowered several times in an effort to attract interest. 
but it seemed that Crow's stunning home remained elusive to potential buyers. In addition to its price tag, the property's unique appeal, set high in the hills with a canyon view, meant that it would attract a specific type of buyer who appreciated the seclusion and natural beauty of the area. For some, the remote location, though picturesque, may have been too isolated for daily life. House in Rosa Beach, Florida. In 2003, she made a savvy investment by acquiring a picturesque property in the serene community of Rosa Beach, Florida for $1 million. Spanning over 2,000 square feet, the property is thoughtfully designed to maximize space and light, providing an ideal sanctuary for relaxation and leisure. Its enviable location on the golf course further enhances its allure, treating residents to sweeping views of lush greens and a tranquil lake that reflects the serenity of its surroundings. As you step inside, the home greets you with an abundance of natural light streaming through large, strategically placed windows. This feature not only brightens the space, but also frames the captivating outdoor vistas, seamlessly blending the beauty of the interior with the charm of the exterior. The open concept layout has been carefully crafted to create a harmonious flow between the main living areas, making it a perfect setting for both casual living and sophisticated entertaining. The living room, designed for comfort and style, opens effortlessly into the dining area, a space primed for hosting gatherings or enjoying quiet family meals. The heart of the home, however, is undoubtedly the chef-inspired kitchen. A haven for culinary enthusiasts, this kitchen is outfitted with top-of-the-line stainless steel appliances, ensuring both functionality and a sleek aesthetic. Granite countertops provide ample workspace for meal preparation, while custom cabinetry and a spacious pantry offer generous storage solutions to keep the area organized and clutter-free. Beyond its aesthetic appeal and functional design, this Rosa Beach property encapsulates a lifestyle of luxury and tranquility. Its proximity to the golf course adds a touch of leisure for enthusiasts, while the serene lake views create an ever-changing natural tableau that can be enjoyed from the comfort of home. Real Estate in Nashville, Tennessee. Over the years, she has invested in properties that reflect her eclectic taste and passion for blending modern functionality with timeless charm. In 2001, Crow purchased an idyllic property in the suburbs of Nashville for $3,600,000, spanning an impressive nearly 50 acres. The estate is a perfect fusion of work, play, and reflection. Crow's love for equestrian life is evident in the 10-stall barn and working horse stables she added to the property. These facilities make the estate not only a beautiful retreat, but also a functional one for maintaining horses. For Crow, the property also serves as a creative haven. She added a recording studio equipped with a bar, describing the space as a really vibey room. This studio became a pivotal part of her career, as it was where she recorded her last three albums. In the formal living room, for example, a damaged oil painting hangs above a sleek leather sofa from West Elm, showcasing her knack for harmonizing the old with the new. Additional standout features include a gallery to display her guitar collection and a small chapel-style structure added for meditation and reflection. A space crow considers a sanctuary amidst her busy life. By 2007, Crow acquired the majestic Cross Creek Farm, a sprawling 146-acre working farm located just south of Nashville. The property offered an ideal blend of luxury and rural simplicity, making it a sanctuary for someone who treasures wide open spaces and a connection to nature. Recognizing the farm's value, Crow decided to divide it into two separate parcels, one of which included the main house and 51 acres. The centerpiece of Cross Creek Farm is its three-story, 
10,000 square foot main house, a true marvel of design and functionality. The home features an elevator, ensuring accessibility to every level and is equipped with a whole house generator for added reliability. The downstairs apartment, a fully self-contained living space, adds flexibility for hosting guests or accommodating long-term visitors. Inside, the house boasts an entry foyer with soaring ceilings that open to the upper floors. Crow herself suggested adding architectural details to enhance the photo wall that lines the staircase, reflecting her artistic vision and attention to detail. Two additional outbuildings provide extra utility, while a separate 2,000-square-foot guesthouse with three bedrooms, a two-car garage, and its own living amenities ensures comfort and privacy for visitors or staff. The estate also caters to equestrian enthusiasts, with a 14-stall horse barn complete with its own office space and a covered outdoor riding arena. Despite its grandeur and functionality, Crow eventually decided to split the estate into two parcels and place them on the market. The main property, including the house and 51 acres, was initially listed for $5,800,000, but later reduced to more than $3,800,000, reflecting the challenges of selling a property of such scale and uniqueness. Crow added a different kind of property to her portfolio, a 4,500-square-foot home near Nashville, purchased for $1,200,000 in 2015. This charming residence offers a more intimate yet equally luxurious living experience, blending modern updates with classic Southern appeal. The home's interior features beautiful hardwood floors throughout, creating a warm and inviting atmosphere. Recent updates, including a modernized kitchen and bathroom, new plumbing, and energy-efficient windows, make the property as functional as it is stylish. The finished basement offers a versatile bonus room that can serve as a gym, a second home office, or even a recreation area, catering to a variety of lifestyle needs. Outside, the property shines as a private oasis. The backyard includes a heated in-ground pool, a fire pit, and ample space for relaxation or entertaining. Whether hosting a summer barbecue or enjoying a quiet evening under the stars, this outdoor space is designed for ultimate enjoyment. An attached three-car garage and a newly installed cement driveway provide convenience and ample storage, while the charming covered front porch adds to the home's curb appeal, offering a serene spot to unwind after a busy day. Cars Cheryl Crow, the celebrated singer-songwriter, is also a passionate car enthusiast with a diverse and intriguing car collection. Her garage reflects her appreciation for automotive craftsmanship, blending classic elegance with modern sophistication. At the heart of Cheryl Crow's collection is the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro, a timeless American muscle car that symbolizes power and performance. The Camaro offers various engine options to suit different driving preferences. Base models feature a reliable inline-six engine, while those seeking more excitement could opt for the more powerful V8s. Inside, the 1969 Camaro is a tribute to functional design and classic aesthetics. The sporty cockpit welcomes the driver with supportive bucket seats, perfect for long drives or quick accelerations. The dashboard is thoughtfully laid out, featuring a clean and streamlined design with easy-to-read gauges that provide essential information at a glance. Another jewel in Cheryl Crow's collection is the elegant 1959 Mercedes-Benz 190SL, a convertible that epitomizes 1950s luxury and sophistication. In a generous act of philanthropy, she decided to auction off the 190 SL and donate the proceeds to a nonprofit organization dedicated to rebuilding schools in Joplin, showcasing her commitment to giving back. The 190 SL is celebrated for its refined performance, 
powered by a nearly two-liter inline four-cylinder engine that produces approximately 105 horsepower. Its timeless design extends to the interior, where luxurious leather upholstery, a beautifully crafted dashboard, and chrome accents create an environment of casual elegance. This car is a statement of both class and comfort, appealing to drivers who value an easygoing, graceful ride. Moving into the realm of modern luxury, Cheryl Crow's collection includes the Mercedes ML Bluetech, a technologically advanced SUV that combines eco-conscious design with high performance. Featuring a turbocharged diesel engine, the ML Bluetech is known for its remarkable efficiency and torque. This SUV is as capable off-road as it is on the highway, making it a versatile addition to her collection. The ML Bluetech's interior is a haven of contemporary luxury and practicality. High-quality materials, such as leather seats and wood or aluminum trim, create an atmosphere of refinement. The cabin comfortably seats five passengers, offering modern conveniences like a touchscreen infotainment system, dual-zone climate control, and optional heated seats. Finally, no discussion of Cheryl Crow's car collection would be complete without mentioning the Cadillac Escalade, a symbol of luxury and dominance in the SUV market. The Escalade is equipped with a powerful 6-liter V8 engine, capable of producing over 400 horsepower. This ensures exhilarating acceleration and effortless highway cruising, solidifying its reputation as a performance-oriented SUV. Inside, the Escalade is a showcase of premium craftsmanship and cutting-edge technology. The three rows of seating are adorned with premium leather, providing space for up to eight passengers. Ambient lighting, wood accents, and plush finishes elevate the interior to a level of opulence that is synonymous with Cadillac. Advanced features like a large touchscreen, a Bose audio system, and state-of-the-art driver assist technologies ensure both comfort and safety. This collection not only showcases her appreciation for automotive history, but also her dedication to making a positive impact in the world. Philanthropy. The nine-time Grammy Award-winning artist is more than just a celebrated musician. She is a beacon of hope, philanthropy, and advocacy. As a breast cancer survivor, Crow is deeply invested in supporting organizations that focus on cancer research and patient care. She has performed at numerous fundraisers, including one to help build Canada's largest breast cancer center at Sunnybrook Hospital in Toronto. Collaborating with artists like Sting, she also lent her voice to benefit the hospital's high-risk mother and baby center, demonstrating her commitment to maternal and infant health. Crow's work with cancer-related charities extends beyond performances. She has also partnered with Stand Up to Cancer, performing at a free concert during the All-Star Game festivities to raise funds for cancer research. Her personal experiences with cancer have fueled her passion for supporting initiatives that aim to find cures and improve the lives of patients. Crow's compassion transcends borders. She is an advocate for the World Food Program, inspired by their work to combat child hunger worldwide. Not only does she encourage her fans to support the organization, but she also uses her platform to raise awareness about the critical issue of food insecurity among children. Closer to home, Crow has supported the El Faro Orphanage, performing to benefit the children in their care. Her commitment to child welfare is also evident in her participation in programs like Adopt a Classroom and Delta Children's Home, which aim to improve the lives of underprivileged children through education and support. Cheryl Crow's generosity extends into her entrepreneurial ventures. She launched a clothing line with 10% of proceeds earmarked for cancer research, blending her creative passions with her philanthropic goals. Most recently, on October 25, 2024, Crow released the heartfelt single Light A Candle, 
The proceeds from this song will be donated to the American Red Cross to support communities affected by Hurricanes Helene and Milton, as well as other tropical storms of 2024. This initiative reflects her quick response to global crises and her ability to leverage her artistry for good. Beyond her charitable efforts, Crow is a vocal advocate for a wide range of social issues. She has spoken out against gun violence, called for Medicaid expansion, and championed women's health and mental health awareness. Her support for LGBTQ plus rights, opposition to the death penalty, and passion for addressing inequality further underscore her dedication to creating a just and equitable society. Living in Tennessee, Crow has particularly focused on issues affecting her local community, using her voice to shed light on challenges faced by the state's residents. She has also aligned with initiatives like Stevie Van Zant's Teach Rock Artist Council to support arts education and the Recording Academy's Music Airs to aid musicians in need. In a world often characterized by division, Cheryl Crow stands as a reminder that compassion, action, and resilience can drive meaningful change. Her legacy as a philanthropist and advocate is as enduring as her legendary music career, inspiring millions to join her in making a difference. Personal life. Cheryl Crow's romantic life has been a subject of public interest, with her relationships attracting widespread media attention. In the late 1990s, she was romantically linked to British musician Eric Clapton and actor Owen Wilson. The song Safe and Sound, from her 2002 album Come On, Come On, is said to have been inspired by her relationship with Wilson, with Crow herself confirming that the track tells the story of their time together. The heartfelt lyrics reflect the connection she shared with Wilson during their brief romance, capturing the emotions of the relationship. As Crow's career continued to rise, so did the scrutiny of her personal life. In 2003, she began a relationship with cycling champion Lance Armstrong. The couple's romance captured the public's attention, especially when they became engaged in 2005. However, their relationship was short-lived, as they announced their split in February 2006. Despite the public nature of the engagement, Crow later shared in interviews that she had been engaged twice before, but had never tied the knot, indicating that her journey with love and commitment had its share of complexities. After her breakup with Armstrong, Crow found a new focus in her life, one that shifted toward motherhood. In May 2007, she made the life-changing announcement on her website that she had adopted a baby boy, born the previous month. This was a significant moment for Crow, who had always been open about her desire to be a mother, despite the challenges of balancing her career and personal aspirations. Three years later, in June 2010, Crow revealed that she had adopted another child, a baby boy born the previous April. Both adoptions were celebrated by fans and reflected Crow's deep commitment to family and her role as a mother something she had longed for throughout her life. Health Issues Alongside her personal life, Cheryl Crow has faced her own health battles, demonstrating immense strength and resilience. In 2006, Crow was diagnosed with ductal carcinoma in situ, DCIS, a non-invasive form of breast cancer. The diagnosis was a pivotal moment in her life, and she underwent a lumpectomy to remove the tumor. Following the procedure, Crow underwent seven weeks of radiation therapy, which was both physically and emotionally demanding. Crow's battle with cancer did not end with her breast cancer diagnosis. In 2010, she faced another health scare when she was diagnosed with meningioma, a type of brain tumor that is usually benign. Crow's diagnosis came as a shock but she continued to receive follow-up care and made her health a top priority. In addition to her cancer diagnoses, Crow has been open about her struggles with depression. It's a condition that many people can relate to, 
yet it's often not discussed openly, particularly among those in the public eye. Crow's willingness to share her mental health challenges has been an important part of her journey, as it highlights the complexity of her life beyond the stage. Despite the ups and downs of her romantic relationships and health struggles, Crow has remained focused on her family, her music, and her advocacy work. Whether she's on stage captivating audiences or enjoying time with her family, Cheryl Crow continues to inspire us with her balanced and fulfilled lifestyle. If you enjoyed this inside look at her world, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more celebrity lifestyle insights. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.